yo, 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 yo. What's going on, people? Beautiful people of the internet, of YouTube, and everywhere around the world. This is K Cox, music producer, drummer, and occasional DJ. Bringing you a new tutorial of using my MPC inside of Ableton. So, yes, I'm going to tell you my secrets, my tricks, and my tips to how I make my MPC videos because they've been getting a lot of positive feedback from you that's been watching and People like it, so why not just show you my method of how I do it. But before that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and subscribe button for new music, tutorials, videos, and updates, and interesting stuff from me, K Cox. You know, after I always do like my, my normal introduction, I like to like talk to you guys, cause you know, you, you guys listen, like it's cool. And I and I love to express myself. If you didn't know, I've been, I took like a good two week, three week break off of just social media in general. I haven't posted anything, I haven't shared anything. I've been just a ghost. Why? Because one, I needed a break to first like calm myself down. Cause I was not feeling anxiety, but it was, something wasn't right. Like I felt something internally wasn't right. Like I would be posting and posting and I would just get the same five people or the same 10 people or the same 20 people just liking. There's nothing wrong with it, but it wasn't growing. So I took a time off in October to just study, studying different marketing techniques, studying different influencers and just see the tools they use to reach more than just the same faces. So I recommend anybody, if you like going hard on social media or just going hard on just one thing, it's okay to take a break and just like woosah, sit back and relax and kind of take it in and just see what can you improve on for the future. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it because it's going to be a short tutorial. Let's just jump into the dog. Let's just go. It's a new Ableton session. Let me just drag in my new drum rack. Let's go to drum rack here, MIDI. I'm going to send the sounds into this return channel. So once I play anything, my voice will get ducked from the music. Yeah, this is already side chain. My voice is already side being side chain into here. So, so let's load in my MPC. MPC. Because in my first original video, I would use an, an external instrument on every channel, which is nonsense. You don't need all of that. So I figured out I can use the full feature of my MPC with only using one of these boxes or one of these drum rack boxes. I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to load in an external instrument. Let's go to instruments, external instrument, just drag it, drop it anywhere. And now let's go from MIDI to, let's go in, instead of using MPC Studio, let's go into Drum Rack. So we're gonna use the whole channel and it will find the MPC and it's using channel three and four of the MPC. And let's go into the MPC as I plug in. Let's go into program, a program edit, drag all the way to the right. And yes, I'm using 2014 MPC software. Like I don't have the new MPC 20 update because I don't use my MPC for like creating music. I use my MPC more for performing music. So I don't need nothing crazy. I just need to play the samples. Pick channel, okay, I want to pad audio route and click on channel three and four because that is the channel for the external instrument that will read the MPC. Right, chill. So now let's load in some samples. And this will give you full control of the MPC using every pad and even using like the different banks. Like I'm, king, I'm clicking on the banks now and it's changing from bank A to bank D and bank, you can go to, if I click shift, I can even go to bank E and bank F and bank G and bank H. Let's just go to bank A for now. Let's load in some drums. Let's go to my drums, because I have drum samples. And if you don't know, I have plenty of free kits on my website, www.diversekcox.com. Link in the description. Go get all the free stuff, free MIDI files, free serum presets. I have a lot of stuff for free. So just go and grab it. Put in my handy dandy headphones. See how this sounds. All right, I'm just, I'm gonna use this. Let's just drag it in. Okay, so thank you. And it's there. Let's pick a kick. That's fine. And it's there. Bank B. Nice. And let's go back to a snare. Hold down shift. It's gonna layer it. Whoo, that's not kinda nasty. Actually, it's kinda fire. Alright, 
Let me just throw in some hi-hats just because I want to. And you can load in any sample, any loop that you want. That's what I use this for. Like, I have a loop. I usually have a loop playing, and then I just play the drums on top of the loop. It's really intuitive, and that's essentially how I make my NPC videos. Okay. Let me play something real quick. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's the video. Like, this is what I do. Like, I just get some samples, put it in into one external instrument right here, and I have full access of my NPC because essentially Ableton is the master and the NPC is the slave within the DAW. So let me know if you still use the NPC or if you use any kind of, like, machine or any kind of drum pad to make videos. And I encourage you to even playing an instrument over your, your music that you create as a music producer. This is K-Cox, I'm back at it. I never left, I just took a break. I, er I also recommend you take a break if you need to, if you feel like stressed or overwhelmed, just, just stop, take a break, reflect, then jump back in it. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Hit that notification bell, ciao.